2007, Nick Diaz defeated Takanori Gomi with a Gogo Plata in one of the most exciting finishes in all of mixed martial arts. I'm Andrew the Squid Montanez. On this episode of MMA Surge, I'm going to teach you how to do the Gogo Plata. So when Nick Diaz pulled this move off on Takanori Gomi, he did it on the way down in a takedown and landed up in guard. So now I'm going to show you how to do it from inside the guard. So Simon's going to come on in here, he's going to get into my guard. So the way I want to start approaching this submission is he's doing the proper thing from top guard. What he's doing is he's putting his hands on me, which doesn't let me sit up and it gives him posture for strikes. But for this move to work properly, I need to take away all this space. I like to sit up and wrap my hands on his head and pull him down so his elbows bend. Once his elbows bend and he's here, I keep my right hand on the back of his head holding him down. Now with my left hand, I'm going to go inside his arm, go to the outside so his arm hits the floor, and then go around and through, securing an overhook. And what I'm going to do is my left hand is going to grab my body. It makes it really hard for him to pull his arm out. He tries to pull his arm out, I could chill here and not really let him get out of here. So now that we have this overhook established, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reach with our right hand and we're going to grab our left ankle. I grab this where it almost makes a T. I want my right arm to be next to his neck. So now that I'm here, I have my overhook. I'm going to pull my overhook out and I'm secure my knee. It stops any sort of pain and discomfort I would be feeling with this type of pressure on my knee. Next thing, you're going to put your right foot on his left hip. What this does is it gives you something to push off of and kind of be a little more grounded. This position right here is called your mission control position. So we've established mission control. Once we have mission control, we can now go for the gogo plata. So all we're gonna do is I'm gonna look to slide my foot over his face by rolling my arm out and around his face and pulling my foot under his chin. Once I put my foot under his chin, he'll start to feel a lot of discomfort. It's under his chin, I take my hands out, reach behind his neck, straighten his face out, point my toes up, pull and tap. Really quick and easy tap. So flexibility is a very important part of being a successful mixed martial artist. Moves like these require a ton of flexibility, so you need to uh, stretch properly. So one stretch I like to do, especially for the gogo plata is, you sit on your butt, and I look to do the same exact thing I would do in the gogo plata, secure my knee and grab my foot. I'm just gonna look to do is just pull my foot to my chest. So start slowly, start pulling it, see how far you can get away from your chest. When you get really good, you can pull it to your chest and hold it there. Make sure you get both legs, maybe uh, three times on each leg for 30 seconds. I pull over here, I pull it to my chest, I make sure that I'm, I'm securing my knee so that when you do get into the fighting position, this knee securing position feels very comfortable. And when you get really good, you can start to bring the foot higher and try to find a little flexibility higher up. And just like when you're in your fighting position, you can get into your guard and you can practice from within your guard. You know, if, if, you, if you know you're going to try this move, do a few of these before you do it and you'll, you'll find a lot more success and find that you can do the move a lot easier. So now I'm going to show you this move in full speed so you can understand the true effectiveness of this move. I'm going to show this Gogo Plata one more time in full speed. Comes with my guard, overhook, roll the foot over his face, get it under his throat, turn his, and get my tap. Again, from here he's in my guard, overhook, foot on hip, grip, control the knee, roll this over, keeping him tight, get my foot under here, finish. Remember, the gogo plata is a move that targets your opponent's neck from inside the guard. So remember the steps. Establish your overhook. Once you have your overhook, use your free hand, grab your foot. Then put right foot on his hip, pull the overhook out, control the knee, and you can start working for the choke. Roll the leg over his throat, hands behind the neck, and get your finish. Be sure to stretch often so you can hit this move a lot easier and find more success on this one. So be sure to check out our website, MMASurge.com and sign up for our email subscription list and I'll send you 10 of my exclusive moves. I'm The Squid, this is MMA Surge, and I'll see you next time. Okay, Bob, hold some pads for me. You gonna pick them up or what? 
Sometimes. How's that ten-finger choke coming along, Bob? 